So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you may have noticed a little bit of a trend. A couple examples, a spaceship, air capacitor. Yeah, as you can see, it's bad. Power lead, very good. I have had that problem, but I think I figured out a way. Bad audio, bad decisions. And so basically in a nutshell, the problem that I have, even with USB mics, is I wasn't able to find one that had an actual gain input level, meaning like a way to be able to turn up and down the sensitivity of the microphone. So I actually have a friend who's a fellow musician who actually found this for me. The iRig Mic. Mic, sorry. Mic. And so now what this is, is this is actually a smartphone tablet microphone which is made for a smartphone or a tablet. And the thing that really drew me to it is the fact that it has a three level gain switch, meaning I'll be able to adjust the input level. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. If you're not into that, go ahead and skip through to the next part. Then we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of an audio test. You can kind of use the beginning of this video to kind of judge. Um, keep in mind, I'm very close to the camera right now, so um, it's gonna sound a little better than as if I was far away. Like that would definitely be a good reference point. So let's go ahead and unbox this while the kids are being so quiet. I wonder why they're being so quiet. All right, without further ado, I'm very excited. So let's jump right into it. Ooh. All right. So there it is. That's the actual. Uh, feels pretty well made. Got some weight to it. Let's get this loud plastic out of here. And this obviously is the three-way switch I was talking about, which is very nice. I think the that's going to help me out a lot. So it does come with a mic holder which is very cool and as well as a carrying case which is eh, it's pleather it's not too bad anything in there no it does say uh i rig mic right there now what's cool about this is that this actually is uh, the input, but there's also a microphone output there. So you can hear in real time what you're recording. And um, okay, so first impression of it, I really like it. I think uh, it feels really well made. It's nice and heavy, but uh, I guess the proof will be in the pudding when we go to uh, use it. Do you have anything to say? Thank you. So uh, let's go ahead and hook this up let's give a sound demonstration. So yeah, we'll use this ambient sound footage because this is actually coming from the internal mic to my phone. I'm recording with my phone right now. So uh, we'll kind of compare this to after when we hook this up. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hook up the microphone in real time. There it is. Grab this. I'm gonna have to bump you a little bit. Sorry. Move you a little bit. Okay. So right now, it is set on the highest setting. And so it should be a little bit hot. Um, I should be coming in loud and clear. From this, I'm going to go ahead and go down to the second setting, which is that. So this is what it sounds like on the second setting. Test, test, one, two. I'm not really going to know exactly how it sounds until I watch this back, but uh, hopefully we should hear a difference. And uh, now I'm going to go down to the lowest setting. So it should be harder to hear me. Um, I don't really know, you know how low it goes. But hopefully, you know, it should be different enough for us to hear a difference. I hope it sounds better. We'll go ahead and move it back to the middle for now. I would imagine middle would be 
about where we would want it. But yeah, it seems like this is definitely the good setting, probably for most talking head things that I would be doing. But uh, what I kind of wanted to do now is go ahead and do something that I haven't done in a while. I'm very, very happy that I'm actually getting to do this. And that is record, get fiddle, an acoustic guitar. Now I do actually have a guitar interface that connects to my phone, but that only reproduces the sound that the pickup inside the guitar makes. So it's not exactly, you know, a proper acoustic sound. With this, I will be able to achieve such results. I find them all. thing about playing with sevens is the E string sometimes gets caught on the fret and uh, yeah these frets wires aren't sticking out too much it's just I don't know everyone's into using the sevens now so figured I'd follow suit all right so that was on the medium setting I'm gonna take a listen and see how that sounded and uh, Maybe come back and then try different settings, depending on how it sounded. Maybe we won't come back, I don't know. Thank you. 